country. Reports say Digicel is aiming to enter Myanmar through a joint venture with Myanmar Post and Telecom. In the meantime, the Office of Utilities Regulation, the OUR, says it has received applications from two firms to set up telecoms operations in Jamaica. The two firms, Hospitality Communications and Kite Communications, have applied to provide mainly internet services. The applications are expected to be processed in 30 to 60 days. Trading on the Jamaica Stock Exchange ended today with the main JC index up more than 32 points to close at 90,207 points, while the junior market index fell by 4 points. The winners of the day were Berger Paints, Carreras, Lime and the Scotia Group. The losers were Deno and Geddes, Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Brawlers, Lasco Manufacturing, Radio Jamaica and Scotia Investments. Currency trading ended today with the US dollar up 14 cents to $93.63. The Canadian dollar lost 34 cents and now trades at $94.51, while sterling is costing $149.35. That's down $1.02. That's the business day. I'm Milton Walker. Good evening.